we ought to reflect on what the Rebbe says that in this Milchama, Nefesh Yolkitsu Nefesh Abahamis, the engaging of the Nefesh Abahamis from the Nefesh of the Kis, the Kirkus Nefesh of the Kis, and also superimposing an element of subjugation and furthering it from people. Ultimately, <clears throat> he can come around and to actually have an avatomicus. What is that mean? What is that? There's something unique about avatomicus. In the experience of the Nefesh Bahamis, Abba inevitably leads to a personal satisfaction, whether it's consumption <coughs> or personal fulfillment. <coughs> Ava Lukus, Lukus takes you out of the, of, the, of the world, of the world. And Lukus is in a different realm than the world, than, than the world and, and, what, and your experience. How can there be an Abba from the Epoch Abba's for other course? Even if there is the process, Achnor and Bitu, It is basically an admission that there is something greater than myself. But this admission that there is something greater than myself does not necessarily come from my quest for something great. It is just simply a, a, a submission. It's a it's a it is just a submission. So there is a, an interesting Notching this, they never present it. When they talk about the Akmo and Bitu, it says, Hayu, which means, Shemaski will have Bitu the Nefesh of the Kis. The Nefesh of the Kis is Maski, concurs to the Bitu the Nefesh of the Kis. In other words, he, gives, he recognizes that there is something unique and something special in the people of the Nefesh of the And as a result of this Haskola, this is what ultimately gives him the opportunity, the ability of having an hour to the course. What does it mean that he is masking and have beaten the Nefesh of the Kis? Bito is an anomaly from the Nefesh of Bahamis perspective. Anomaly means not normal. It's contrary to its, to its natural tendency. As we said, 
Ahabo Nevzabam is means I want to experience for myself. Bitu is 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 an is an opposite attitude, completely opposite experience than what the Nefesh Abamis appreciates. And here the Nefesh Rikis imposes a beetle on Nefesh Abamis. And it has an effect to the extent the Nefesh Abamis sort of shakes his head, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I understand. How does that, what's behind this? How does that happen? And the Nefesh Abamis, from the Nefesh Abamis level, from the Nefesh Abamis perspective. The unique aspect of the beetle of the Nefesh of the Kis it really behooves us to focus in and understand the unique nature and quality of the beetle of the Nefesh of the Kis. Why is a nefesh on a kiss called nefesh on a kiss? It's a nefesh. Even, it's, I understand, I appreciate. Nefesh on a kiss means a divine nefesh. What's this? What's this appellation telling you? This, this can draw us up the recognition that in this nefesh, a lacus permeates its being throughout its being, every aspect of it. Every aspect of this nefesh does not belong to itself. It belongs to Elokus. Does not represent itself, it represents the Elokus. And what is the what what's behind what's in unique in, in, in this? In our world, we're concerned about doing good. Being honest and 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 accepting and 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 um, and disseminating goodness throughout the world. What is the meaning of being beetle and being called nefesh of the keys? Nefesh of the keys means that I deny the seas of world. There is only a locus. In my reality, there is only a locus. What is the, 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 the sense behind that? Normally, from the Nefesh Abahami's approach, perspective, one would say, now the significance of this being one with the course is that I appreciate the greatness of the course. That appreciation is, is very commendable 
and it, it really is deserves some recognition. However, Nefesh keys goes a step beyond appreciation of Holocaust. It becomes so, it is so much inter united and permeated with Holocaust that there is not an entity in this Nefesh but the Holocaust that permeates it. That's why it's called Nefesh al That the Nefesh itself is godliness. And the other explains in Tanya. Chelik al Ma'al Mamush. Chelik al Ma'al. Everybody knows the translation of these words. We understand. Chelik al Ma'al. The other adds the word mamash. Chilakal <coughs> Kamimal is a posuk in Eve. This is like a quote from the posuk in Eve. The Alta Rebbe adds the word mamash. And what's the significance? Why is he adding the word mamash? The addition of what word mamush is to denote the union that the national is is not just godly, but it is God. It's a halak of God. To demonstrate the Indian from Halacha. In Halacha, there is, there is an interesting Halacha. When one first learns it, it seems almost counterintuitive. One has an avid evil, an avid slave, who was, who, sold him, who was sold to him. There are two different levels of avid evil. An avid evil for six years. Then the Madol of the Nitsa. Nitsa means that he is there forever. It's an epic. And then there is, you can say, the Hadra Nevit Knani. The Nevit Knani. The Nevit Knani does not have the, 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 the denomination of six years of um, Yehudah. There's, no, there's no difference. Halachically, there's, there's a big difference between the Ebekman and Ebedili. For one thing, the Nevet Kanani is permitted to eat too if the, if, the, if the master is a queen, his ever can eat too And Ebedili cannot eat too He's not a queen. How do we understand it? What does this imply? The reason that the Nevit Knani can eat Truma is that the Nevit Knani is not an entity unto himself at all. Mamush. He is the master. Every Divri serves a master with full dedication, but he is not the master. He's a messenger of the master. He fulfills his 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 his, his will and his commands. Every knani is what is is a master. There's no entity, no separate entity than the, than the master in the in the in the, in the every knani. Chilik al kamimal is an effigy of the keys. Chilik al kamimal. It's a great great title. 
but it could be mimal. It has a rep representative of Avalakus. Because it had been in so, such close proximity to the course, it has absorbed all its qualities, it represents it. But it is a separate nefesh. And a separate nefesh means it gives its qualities, which are godly, but it's its qualities to the person. It brings its qualities into the world. If it brings its qualities to the world, it has no jurisdiction, doesn't own the world. It can affect it by its qualities and, and as long as the world accepts it and so forth. But it does not, it has no ownership. If you say, Hilika can be mal mamosh. Then it tones the world just like the neighbors tones the world. Therefore, its effect on the world is, is from a completely different approach. It is not teaching right from wrong good from bad, even truth from falsehood. It simply takes over and says, here's the, here's, here, here, I'm here. When it comes with that approach, then it has the power to transform the Nebuchadnezzar balance. Because it owns an balance. Its approach to the Nebuchadnezzar is not by any, any kind of representation, any kind of spirit, of effect. It's, it's effect on the is complete absorption and ownership. And because there is a new from the ownership, thus it brings the impact of the Nefesh Abhamis, the entire reality of the of, of Holocaust. What is the reality of Holocaust? There is a Holocaust and godliness and goodness and so forth. And then there is a completely different thing. There is not an anti, a presence of the Lakus. Everything else is a godly creation. Yesh me'ani. It has no, no leg to stand on, at all, on its own at all. It is a godly creation. It is a godly presence. The fact that there is a world, they are testing to talk not that there is a, God, a world, or not that God created the world. They are testing that there is God. This is what the Rambam says, as we mentioned many times. The first principle is to know that there is a first being. This first being, that remains the reality of all everything that you encounter in the world. It's presented to you in different forms and different levels of it. But that is what gives it a presence. The reason there is so much variety in the world, there's so many different forms that, that, that the world is represented. Unlimited. The reason for that is that 
the one who created, who, who presented, owns the world. There is no limit. He doesn't have to ask permission. Do you agree with this form or, or, or with this form? There is a human being, the supreme presence, and then there's a half the level of those, the cockroach. How does a cockroach come to be in the same world as a human being? From a worldly perspective, there is absolutely no parallel there. But the supreme presence of, of, of the God, the presence is, is represented in everything. This is the shot. The <sighs> Nefesh of the Kings in engaging the Nefesh of Amis. And bringing a person that Nefesh Abanis agrees, mask him to the beetle. What does it mean, mask him to me? Why is it mask him to the beetle? Man, where in a Nefesh case means it recognizes that there is, in fact, nothing but nothing but God. The beetle Nefesh Abanis tells in the beetle of Nefesh case tells Nefesh Abanis brings the Nefesh Abanis face to face with this reality. I said, aha, yeah, of course you're right. Let's see, this is all there is. Once he recognizes, via the Nefesh of the Keys, that this is all there is, then he's exposed to a different, to a different reality. A reality of unlimited presence. A reality that encompasses absolutely everything. And then the Nefesh Abamis says, ah, this is the real, this is, this is real life. So he comes to Ahavat course. The real life is not, I like my breakfast, I like my supper, I like my, my, my lunch. Everything is permeated by the same reality. And that's the Nefesh Abamis comes also. We say to Avon Alukus. What Avon Alukus? He wants this, this, this all encompassing reality. Not one thing or another. And the only way that you can, you know, all encompassing in reality, you can have only by being encompassed by it. Because you cannot take it into your faculties, your second, and meters cannot, cannot grasp it. By being one with it, this is how, this is how, it, how, it, how it happens. This is the beetle that enables Nefesh Abamis to actually relate to the course. And come to the point that he has our locals. <clears throat> and this is what the Rebbe concludes after that that there is a tremendous accomplishment as a result of this transformation of the Nefesh Abhavis. Let us verbalize this. This union that we just now discussed, the union from the Lakus, that is being presented to Nefesh Abhamis and so forth. This presents, represents the Lukus, okay, look at the Kami Ma'am Mavus, represents the Lukus not as exclusively a Lukus. A Lukus 
and the opposite will which is also a Lukus. Everything is rule is in the Lukus. The Nefesh Aliki is in the Bahamis. The reason that this such thing as a Nefesh Bahamis is because the Lukus allows for it. Allows for it does not mean yeah, he allows him to be. Allows him means he gives it meaning. I like this. We can go along with this, but just wanted to put some insight on this. When the Rebbe says that then he misoyre nefesh abami says misoyre b'avon lekus. Meaning that nefesh abami says misoyre b'avon lekus. He's he remains, he's a pain. How can be misoyre b'avon lekus? He's permeated with the truth of the lekus. He ceases to be a pain. Just as a living body is still a body, but it's not a body anymore. The life in the body <coughs> transforms the body into a living body. And its qualities are completely permeated by this life to the extent that the body can have be damaged and, and it will recover and it will heal by force of the life that's in it. Because that life is not vulnerable. And I want to call our attention to a nuance in the in the Rebbe's presentation here. The line begins with the word Be'ahavo. It's just above the middle. That the Nefesh Abami is Misei Rebbe Be'ahavo, Sheyirze Belokus, which means that he should want a Lokus. And then he has the word Tafko. Tafko means exclusively. He doesn't want anything else. This is reminiscent but the Alter Rebbe says in Tanya, Chelek Elokam Mimal Mamosh. Tad Chelek Elokam Mimal Mamosh. Chelek Elokam Mimal Mamosh. And this Dafko is a similar emphasis. The Nefesh Abam is having had this exposure. He wants this only. He emphasizes emphatically. He wouldn't take a substitute. In other words, he's not taking this with his faculties of Seichel and Nidus. He's taking it with his entire being. This is a very special quality in the Shabbatis. So he said, he said, Koyach bin be 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 true as Shoyer. Not true, but be Koyach Shoyer. Acts does not approach with his faculties. He approaches everything with his full force. His entire being. And this is why the Rosh Bami says, Davko, his entire being is this. That's all, that's all I know. I doesn't, not that that's all I know. There is not multiple choices over here. Anything but this is it, it, it doesn't exist.
This is what happens as a result of this Melchoma. And this is why it has this tremendous effect. And what is the effect? That darkness, Bahama, also goes on to the cross. Which what Oy Yisrael Hoy Miteha Khoishek. Where do you see Yisrael Hoyer? When Khoishek itself says Oyer is the thing. The word Yisroin, we try to translate, we did, but I don't know, but we just want to make sure that we caught the, the, the nuance in this. Yisroin means that not the supremacy of light over darkness. Within light itself, what is so unique and special about light? To come to recognize that, you recognize it, with, uh, it is when the light comes from the Hachrish. What is a light that comes in Hachrishek? What is so unique? What can be unique quality that it does it represent? I want to take a minute to express this. We've gone to so far. We said many times that the Nebuchadnezzar created light so that we could see things in the world. Prior to that, without light, you can only know things by touch. Now here is the important message of Yisrael When you touch, when you touch an object in the world, you know it by touch. But this touch has a unique message. What's a, what's a unique message? Just like in sight, when you see an object, you see the object not from the perspective of how it affects you, but you see the object, object in its own reality. Touch normally would mean to say, hey, there's something here you Watch out how you walk. If you walk through this rock, you're gonna you're gonna get hurt. You know, but you know things by personal experience, by projecting how it affects you. That's touch. But within touch, that the Abishu created in, 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 in the world, in within touch, there is that quality that it tells you much more than how it affects you. It tells you something about itself. This is the oil that emanates from darkness. This is the Yisli Ramitah interpretation. This is the, the, the special, special quality of Oyer that, that, that it can be recognized even from darkness. That, that darkness also has this in it that it wants to tell you about the Oyer element. Not how it affects you, how it, it's, it, it, it'll stumble over you, but that there is something real here. So how does Yisri Noir recognized? When it comes to Yahushua, that even Khoishek tells you that there is a reality here. That's Yisri Noir. And this is the this the super accomplishment in the work of Nefesh al Kis with Nefesh Abamis. That Nefesh Abamis that is Abhaima. And the Bhema itself screams out, hey, the Elokus, this, this is the real thing. Even my Matthias is Elokus. Yes, I'm interested in myself, but I'm telling you there is more to, to me than my personal experience. Bishop said afterwards we can't share. Afterwards we can share. Koyak share the power of the show can produce a lot of produce. But the point is not show that I'm interested in producing produce. He says, no, no. 
That is the ultimate fulfillment of the Koyach and the Shoyach. That he is, takes over everything. He becomes productive by his, by, by his, uh, by force, by, 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 by virtue of his force. With the power, nothing else. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's flying a field, doesn't know what he's flying. He's, he's, he's just using his power to walk. And that walking produces produce more than, than, than anything else, than anybody else. One more notch. I took up the whole time, just one more notch. The raft with we here show we see like this. The show it is only walking. The fact that he's walking results in an increase of tour of produce reveals that in everything at every level. Even that plain and oxen walk also has the potential of bringing out an oil and a, a, a special quality. This is the oil from Tehachish. I hope that I transmitted clearly enough what you think it's okay. <clears throat> well, I don't know whether it was clear, but it certainly was multifaceted. We get the point or we don't get the point. Shall we listen? Still thinking about it. Right. Good. It's something to think about. <laughs>